All right, here's number 11. All right, so here it goes. It's the gorilla. Bum, 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 And every class in the world will go, ah! So you've got to get them to go, bum. So that's hard. So sometimes I ask them to go, bum. And some of them will go up like crazy and some of them will stay right where they're supposed to be. Anyway, um, that's a fun one. That's the gorilla. Number 12, baby goldfish. See the baby goldfish swimming round and round, never sings a song or makes a sound. Careful not to put your fingers to the glass. Bum ba da dum bum 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 splash. And they're always gonna say, careful not to. They always say something different, but they're wrong. It's careful not to put your fingers to the glass. Yeah, like on the glass or through the glass. They always say something wrong. That's it. Thirteen. Thirteen is anteater, also hormiguero. Okay, and also hormiguero means ant bear. Like also is bear, hormiguero is like ant like or something. So, an ant eater, if you're like a little ant, and an ant eater comes to you, they kind of like look like a bear because they're gigantic. So, ant bear. Also, hormiguero. So, it goes. Ant eater, ant eater, don't you see? Ant eater, ant eater, can't catch me. Ant eater, ant eater, what to do? Somebody's trying to gobble you. So the story behind that song is that you're a little ant and you're singing to the ant eater. And the ant eater is about ready to get gobbled by something else, so you're not really afraid of it. Ant eater, ant eater, don't you see? Ant eater, ant eater, can't catch me. Ant eater, ant eater, what to do? Somebody's trying to gobble you. And then the other thing is that you can pick two people to gobble and you can point at them. So I say, somebody's trying to gobble you. And I pick two people and I point at them. When that happens, kids go crazy and um, they point at like 15 different people. And that's why song number 14 is so much fun. So I can jump right into it, um, but you know, like you don't even have to do that. Just avoid the whole thing by telling them the, the story, and they should point up at the bear, at the I mean, at the ant here, because they're little ants. All right, that was 11, 12, 13, ant here. All right, 14 is cheetah. For this one, I just start playing it like like if they're, and for every song almost, as long as it's quiet enough for the kids to hear that I'm getting ready to start a new one, I just start playing instead of like trying to get them quiet every single time I do a new animal song. Um, Here comes the cheetah, chomp, chomp, chomp. I think he's gonna eat a chomp, chomp, chomp. A taco or a pita, chomp, chomp, chomp. 
So here comes the cheetah, chomp, chomp, chomp. I explained that a pita is kind of like an arepa. Some, most of them know what an arepa is. An arepa looks like pita bread, but it's like a corn patty and it's hot. But pita bread, you know, is that circle bread that you cut down, like you cut through the middle and then you put stuff in it and it becomes a sandwich. And a taco, everybody knows that. Everyone thinks it's a taco or a pizza. It's a taco or a pita. And it's not the guy from that movie with the girl with the bow and arrow. All right. Song number 15 has the same rhythm as song number 14, but it's in like Lydian or something. B that I played should be a low B, but you can't do that on here. Um. I see a peacock, knock, 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 looking at a big clock, knock, 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 ready to go to the peacock show and waiting for his friends to knock, knock, knock. That's right, the peacock was waiting for his friends. They were going to go to the peacock show. He was waiting for his friends to show up in the peacock limousine. But all his friends are running on peacock time. Oh, yeah.